Today we take the k and Spider back in time to Yorktown, Virginia of the fall of 1871. The location is the last major battle of the American Revolutionary War. The battlefield is now a Colonial National Historical Park, offering a scenic driving tour through the battlefield, then on to the Colonial Parkway Scenic Byway. But first, lunch at the Yorktown Pub. Miriam, what are we doing? Well, we're doing something we haven't done on purpose for a long time, and that's a uh, ride through the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel on our way to the peninsula. Yes. Gonna go. And I love it so, all the traffic and construction. <laughs> yeah, not the construction is here, but the traffic hasn't been bad. It's not, we're well past rush hour and all that. That doesn't and mean it's, anything. It's, it's such a gray, moody day. Yep. It's a very low altitude, overcast, about two to three hundred feet. Um, it kind of has ambiance. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, uh, it's a set at home, drink coffee kind of day is what it is, but we're out and about we've, the spider. We've been doing a lot of that and I, I can't read another murder mystery. I've just finished three. We haven't even started <laughs> winter yet. I know, I'm a little worried. But. Yeah. Uh, I don't, I don't know that this uh, bridge tunnel will ever not be under construction. Yeah, but, uh, and uh, they are digging a new set of tunnels that are deeper, yeah. and they're building a new four-lane section to go to the Hampton Bridge Tunnel. They're also widening and deepening the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Um, they, they are widening and heightening the Interstate 64 bridge over the Elizabeth River down south. And uh, I am given to understand this all because of the expansion of the Panama Canal, which allows bigger cargo ships to transient, so they need deeper passages. Oh, here we go. Here's my traffic. Yes. <laughs> I missed it so. Yeah, not not much though. Won't won't yeah, delay we're stop. much. Yeah, I guess it's uh, good for the the region because of it. It enables more port activity. Yeah. Uh, oh, off to our uh, left is the uh, the James River. Well, actually, it's off to the right too, but it opens up here to the Chesapeake Bay. Off to the right, yeah. and to the left is the James River. A couple of cargo ships out there today. There's a couple. Way out that little speck on the horizon is a lighthouse. Now it's automated, but at one time it was a floating manned lighthouse. Had a crew that lived on it. I'll see if I can overlay, a, find a, a picture and overlay it. Yeah, and that's um, Fort Monroe up that way. Yeah, and this was a, uh, this little island right here. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it on. Uh, comments up here, or no, actually it'll be up here. Um, it has some historical significance. It was a coastal fortification, and you can still see one of the, what's left of the observation. Fort Wool? Fort Wool. Is that what yeah, it's with, Fort uh, Wool? I think that. Fortifications, and that was an observation tower. And they used to be able to fire the guns out to protect the Chesapeake Bay. I think now it's a bird sanctuary.
We were having the gumbo. Yeah, keep it gumbo. It's our starter, and I'm having clam chowder. It's a clam chowder kind of day with the dreariness and we're on the water. And so, and we have some fish and chips. Yeah, we got some fish and chips coming too. I've never tried to make a seafood gumbo. Maybe we should give it a try. Yeah. Mm. Very good. So we're actually doing something we ought to talk about. It's so we're actually doing. We're actually splitting at lunch. A lunch entree. Yep. Yep. Fish and chips. Yeah. Alrighty. Nice lunch. Gonna head over to the battle area. Um <clears throat> oh, look at it. Yeah. So why is Yorktown significant? Well, historically, it is where George Washington uh, spanked a guy named Cornwallis. Uh, that's a uh, warfare term, spanked. And uh, that was the turning point of the Revolutionary War. Cornwallis actually surrendered here, and it was the... Uh, it was really pretty much the war, the Revolutionary War was done at that point. And during the, uh, during the Civil War, this uh, was a significant uh, location for both the North and the South as the port changed hands several times and was used by uh, both the North and the South. I may have mentioned this in past videos, but we're going to talk about that in a second. They're restoring the, the statue. It, uh, it's been here a long time, and they're going to do a restoration on it. It is also the finish line for the Trans-America Bicycle Race, right there at the foot of the statue. So we're on one of the battlefield roads heading into the battlefield. Uh, it's a large area. It's uh, several miles across, and besides the fact that British and the American colonists were here. The French were here in support of uh, our revolution. And a guy named Lafayette, you may remember in the history books, was here also. And he was so impressed with the concept of a constitutional republic, he took the idea home to France, as did many of the French soldiers. And a few years later, they had their own revolution and they ousted their king, and they too became the uh, representative-based government that they saw being built here. So we turned off the main road onto the Battlefield Encampment Road, which kind of goes all through the battlefield and is marked with these historical tour markers and to kind of give you an idea of what all happened here. This was a location of the French hospital back in the day. And this is a, a one lane road. So traffic is going one way and it's one lane. And of course it being autumn and a temperature of 64 degrees, it's nice out here today. Very nice.
And right in here is a simple mass grave of 50 unidentified, unidentified French soldiers killed during the battle uh, of Yorktown. Fitting that we, uh, we present wreaths on a regular basis to keep it up. With the cross, very nice. The hat, the overcast, gives this area, this ride, such a relaxed feel. It's a lot bigger than you, you could think about. I don't know how, how many troops were actually here, but it was a big battle. Pretty much everything the British could throw at us, and we fought back with pretty much everything we had. For the battlefield tour and on the Colonial Parkway. This takes us from Yorktown to downtown Williamsburg proper to Jamestown and the foot of the uh, ferry. We were on the ferry uh, just a week or so ago. We're going to take it again because it makes for a scenic ride home and relax. It's about uh, 25 miles uh, from Yorktown to Jamestown, passing through the city of Williamsburg. And uh, there are uh, really no services here until you get down to the uh, Jamestown Visitor Center. So uh, plan accordingly. And this is a multi-use path. It's a great cycling path. Harry uh, and I have been on this before with our bicycles. Very scenic. Well, guys, <sighs> we made it home again. Another field trip. Yeah, it was a good fall field trip. We're starting to run out of places to go to that we've not been before on video, so uh, we're gonna have yeah. to do some more research. But it was uh, we were in the same area ten days ago, but it was nice to see the contrast in the foliage. It was so much prettier today, I thought. Yeah, the colors have really begun to pop, and I've always wanted to use that word on video, but now I've got a chance to. You're gonna remind them. Yes, uh, if you want to send us your clips of your video with you and your ride, we've got the instructions over on our Facebook page, uh, John and Miriam's Asphalt Odyssey on Facebook. Just 
look it up it's, it's right there and how to load the video and uh, we could include that into uh, our videos to kind of showcase you guys because you're really really what makes this channel happen yeah thinking of a, a video collage yeah type absolutely um, yeah. I've got also got, like I said I got an instructional video on that also um, what else yeah I, I think that's it gonna go inside <laughs> and have a beverage wind down yes but uh, thanks for coming along with us today and we hope to see you soon bye bye, bye. Take care. We just want to get gone.